In today's video, we will take up questions from Captain Subramaniam's Ship Stability 2 Trim Type A problems. Uh, this is exercise number 22. It's an unsolved question. Uh, question number 3 is our focus today. All right. So the question is that the present drafts of a ship 150 40 meters long are 8.1 meter forward and 9.9 .9 meter aft. TPC is 30, MCTC 250, and HF is 3 meters forward. If 300 tons was pumped out of number 5 double bottom tank, the COG of which, the center of gravity of which is 50 meters above H, find the new drafts forward and aft. Alright, have a just pause the video here, read the question carefully again if you don't have the book. If you have the book, you can read the question from the book itself. All right, I will start solving the question. So remember in the exam, you may not get the question with these exact numbers, but if you get the principle correct, then you can solve any question, doesn't matter what the numbers are. And to do that, you have to be very clear with the diagram of the question. So I'll, I'll just draw a diagram here. As you probably, if you have been watching my videos, you will know that my diagrams aren't anything special. I just like to draw them to get an understanding of what is happening in the question. So I like to exaggerate it a little bit. So I will, the aft draft is more than the forward draft. So I will show 9.9 .9 meters here and the forward draft is 8.1 meters, right? And then I will draw a midship denoted by the letter H. All right. And uh, what is given is HF is 3 meters forward. So HF is 3 meters forward. So I will draw F somewhere here. HF is the longitudinal distance between midship and the center of flotation. And center of flotation is 3 meters forward of midship. The total length of the vessel is 140 meters long. So the total length of the vessel is 140 meters long. So that means each midship so from aft perpendicular this is aft perpendicular this is forward part of the vessel so from aft perpendicular to midship is half of the length of perpendicular 70 meters and then this is also 70 meters half of length between perpendicular i have divided the ship into two equal halves in a longitudinal sense all right then uh, what else is given to us is that from number five double bottom tank let's say number five double bottom tank is here we'll call it g and the center of gravity of which is 50 meters above of H. So 50 meters above of H, 50 meters above of the midship. And you have pumped out, that is minus negative 300 tons of double bottom from the number double bottom tank. So we don't know, maybe seawater, whatever it is, it has been pumped out. So it's like a discharge. So if 300 tons is pumped out from the aft peak tank, the aft part of the vessel will become lighter, it will lift up and the forward part vessel will dip down becoming heavier automatically because 300 tons has been pumped out of the aft part of the vessel. What else is given to us is that the TPC is 30 and MCTC is 250. All right, there's nothing else that is given to us. So straight away we can start with the question and 300 tons has been pumped out of uh, so 50 meters above right so let's start with here so we'll say change in the trim caused by the pumping out of 300 tons is 300 tons multiplied by so the distance we are interested is not from g to midship but from g to center of flotation this distance here that is why the position of the center of flotation is given to you so from g to f is nothing but 50 plus 3 meters, 53 meters, right? So from G to F, the distance is 50 plus 3, 53 meters. So that's the distance we are interested in, 53 meters. Divided by MCTC, MCTC is 250. All right, so once again, if you are not sure what I did here, MCTC is in the denominator. This is from G to F, and this is the weight of the water pumped out, or whatever it was pumped out. I'm assuming it is seawater. So that is how the change in the trim is calculated. So in this case, you will get 63.6 and this is centimeters. All right, because it is moment to change trim by one centimeter. When I use that, 
the answer I'll get is in centimeters. Also, if you have pumped out 300 tons, so there will be a rise of vessel. Vessel will become lighter overall as well. So not only the aft part will become lighter, overall also the vessel will become lighter because if you have lifted a weight off from a ship, the ship becomes lighter overall as well, right? So mean rise, we can call it mean rise of the vessel. Similarly, if you had loaded something or pumped in uh, water, it would have been a mean sinkage. So mean rise of the vessel can be calculated by weight pumped out 300 tons divided by TPC 30. This is TPC. And this will give you again gives you answer in centimeters. So 10 centimeters because again TPC stands for tons per centimeter immersion. So the answer you will get will always be in centimeters. All right. Now the next thing is we know that the overall change in the trim was 63.6 centimeters. That is here. Right. So how do I calculate change in the trim aft? So change in the trim aft is calculated by the formula TC multiplied by AF. AF is nothing but the longitudinal distance from the aft perpendicular to the center of rotation. So from aft perpendicular to midship is we have already determined it's 70 meters half of length between perpendicular. So from aft perpendicular to center of rotation will be what 70 plus 3 73 meters. This will be nothing but from aft perpendicular to center of rotation 70 plus 3 73 meters right and then divided by length between perpendicular. So you know all the values you know TC is 63.6 so you can put 63.6 centimeters AF is 73 meters and LBP is 140 meters which is the length overall of the vessel. So change in the trim aft is 33.2 centimeters. Change in the trim forward will be nothing but overall change in the trim minus change in the trim aft. So change in the trim forward and change in the trim aft combined together forms the overall change in the trim. Correct. So therefore change in the trim forward will be equal to overall change in the trim minus change in the trim aft which is equal to 30.4 centimeters. All right, now we've got all the values. So we'll say drafts, draft, drafts, and this is forward and this is aft. So forward draft is 8.1 to start off with and aft draft was 9.90 .90 to start off with. There was overall a rise in the vessel which will affect both forward and part of the, forward and aft part of the vessel because vessel has become lighter and that was 10 centimeters. So 10 centimeters can now be converted to meters by dividing in by 100. So if you divide 10 by 100, you get 0 0.10 meters. So here overall rise because the vessel is rising, the draft will reduce. So I will subtract it. So sorry, uh, just put the subtract sign a little bit away. 0 0.100. So you subtract both forward and aft drafts by the overall rise because both the forward and aft draft have become lighter or rather part of the vessel has become lighter. So after rise, it will be 8 meters and 9.8 meters. Then we have change in the trim forward, TF, change in the trim aft. Now remember at the very beginning, I told you if the vessel has pumped out 300 tons from the aft part of the vessel, aft part of the vessel will come out. That means aft part will become lighter. So hence the aft draft will reduce and forward part will of course dip down and so the forward draft will increase. Therefore, when you are applying the corrections of TF and TA, in this case, TF will be an addition. TF is 30.4 centimeters or 0 0.304 meter. So you must be wondering why I'm converting it into meters because here the drafts are all in meters. Remember that. That's why the correction I apply is also has to be in meters. I cannot apply it in centimeters. So this becomes 0 0.304. Just divide centimeters by 100 and you get the answer in meters and this becomes 8.304 if I add it meters. Similarly change in trim aft will be a subtraction because aft draft is reducing and this 33.2 can become 0.332 meters divided by 100 so 0 0.332 meters everything is in meters so the answer you will get is 9.468 meters that is the final drafts forward and aft after you have pumped out 300 tons 
from the number 5 double bottom tank. Alright, very simple, straightforward, easy to use. Remember to change the units accordingly. And let me know if there are any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you soon with my next video. Bye for now.